What's going on everybody? So in today's video we're going to talk about a couple of VMC flight maneuvers. The two that we're going to cover is roll on landing in the H-60 Blackhawk. Uh, most of you guys that watch my channel are going through flight school right now. So if you're in Common Core, you're doing run on landing. Uh, but skids are for kids. So uh, soon enough, you guys will be doing roll on landings. And if you're in the aircraft qualification course currently, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to cover that flight maneuver along with the level acceleration takeoff. Um, this clip that I'm going to show in the video and do a voiceover with is a clip I took from the uh, flight the other day. Uh, we didn't do the whole period of traffic patterns. It was just one of those things where we had a little time to burn off. So I was like, hey, let's go do some roll on landings because I hadn't done them in a while. So it's always good to practice those basic flight maneuvers. So I got a clip and uh, stay tuned and watch the clip and uh, hopefully you take something away from it. Enjoy. All right, like I said, the first one we're going to review is the roll on landing. This one will be without aerodynamic braking. Uh, we're turning a left base to runway 28 left. And why would you do a roll on landing without aerodynamic braking? Well, if you're studying your EPs for the Blackhawk, you know that if you have a high pump one failure without a backup pump, you have to do a roll on landing without aerodynamic braking. Now, with your uh, roll on landing, you want a more shallow than normal approach. You also want your ground speed below 60 knots before set down. Biggest issue I think with learning this maneuver is getting on center line before you set the aircraft down. And you'll see my MTP here, who's on the controls, does a really good job at that. Um, so, yeah, below 60, obviously, you want to be overall obstacles uh, are past all obstacles before you start coming down. And you want a shallow, more shallow than normal approach. And you're trying to land this bird like an airplane. So, as we come in. He's on center line. It looks good. Let's see this sit down. Very smooth sit down. You almost don't even feel that. Very smooth sit down. All right, so we're going to take this maneuver right into a level acceleration takeoff. So why would you do a level acceleration takeoff? So level acceleration is the appropriate takeoff for when your IGE hover power is your max power available. So you're doing an airspeed over altitude. Everybody knows if you get airspeed up, the aircraft is going to want to climb far more efficiently. So you keep the aircraft down in ground effect, just like I'm doing here. Keep the aircraft center line. You're not worried about trim here. You're worried about keeping the tail behind you and the nose and the tail protected. And when you reach your max rate of climb airspeed, you're going to go aft cyclic pull up for that uh, really good uh, rate of climb that the level acceleration is going to give you and then you slap your aircraft into trim. So very good executed level acceleration if I don't say so myself. Alright, let's uh, get into a little bit of a debrief here. Alright, so the first one we're going to talk about here is that roll on landing without aerodynamic braking. So also referred to as a, a, a three-point because obviously you got two mains and one tail wheel. So the EP I mentioned, uh, high pump one failure with no backup pump, right? So that's what you're going to execute if you get that EP, the roll on landing without aerodynamic braking. have my FRC cards right here. And let's go over them a little bit. Uh, if you guys got your FRC cards with you, uh, feel free to go to Charlie 10 in the caution section. So high pump fail without backup pump on advisory. Immediate actions. Back up hydraulic pump switch on. So you're taking that backup pump switch and you're putting it to on. Then it has urgency to land. Land as soon as practicable 
if backup hydraulic pump on advisory appears. Land as soon as possible if the backup pump advisory light does not appear, which in this case, that's what we're looking like, uh, the land as soon as possible scenario. So <clears throat> let's go down to considerations because I think this is where the meat and potatoes of this EP is. So loss of the of both the number one hydraulic pump and the backup pump results in both stages of the tail rotor servo being unpressurized. The yaw boost servo is still pressurized and the mechanical control system is still intact allowing limited tail rotor control. Because of the limited yaw control range available, a roll-on landing 40 knots or above is required. Do not use aerodynamic braking. And then it goes on to talk about limiting the bank angle to 30 degrees when you have a primary servo fail caution. So, just like I was saying, um, you're going to want to do that roll on landing for the high pump one failure with no backup pump. Um, without aerodynamic braking, you want to keep your airspeed above 40 and you want to keep your airspeed um, below 60 knots ground speed because of the chapter 5 limitation. However, if you have an emergency, it is at the pilot's discretion to uh, to exceed limits if, if uh, you need to save lives of the occupant. So if you've set the aircraft down at 61 knots, obviously try to be within the chapter five limit, but the um, survival of the occupants is the primary consideration. However, do not go below 40 knots because the EP says to not do that. And there is a reason for that. Um, and, it, and it has to do with uh, the y'all control authority that you have um, without those, um, those tail rotor servos being pressurized. It is important to keep that airspeed up for this EP. Now, talking about the, uh, talking about the um, level acceleration. Now, very, it's, it's very seldom you're going to find yourself in a predicament when you have to do a level acceleration in a Blackhawk. Now, back in the old days, back in the Vietnam War, I, I heard Huey pilots used to do level accelerations all the time just to get the damn aircraft off the ground because they used to pack that Huey full of stuff and move it all around the battlefield. Um, so they were often faced with having uh, just hover power at IGE, and that's what they had to work with. Um, obviously, the Black Hawk has got way more power than the Huey does. Um, is it possible to get into a situation where you have to do a level acceleration? Absolutely it is. You start uh, increasing the density altitude. You start loading that aircraft down with a bunch of weight. And, uh, yeah, you, you definitely better have an accurate PPC and uh, have plenty of runway or open field to do a, a level acceleration and get off the ground. Um, one thing uh, that this video doesn't capture, and maybe I can capture it in a future video, is a roll-on takeoff. Or, or, yeah, a rolling takeoff. So that's when you don't even have IGE power to hover you have to get the aircraft in a roll and get it above a certain airspeed before it will even come up off of the ground. And obviously, that's an even worse predicament to be in uh, when you have max power available being your hover power. Um, so yeah, like I said, you, you start increasing the density altitude, you start loading that aircraft down, you might get yourself in a situation where as a pilot, you have to make a decision like, Hey, this is an important mission. We have to get these people out of here, or we have to get this supplies to this unit. And we have no choice, but to do this level acceleration, get this airspeed up. Hopefully we burn fuel off 
in route so that we can land and we don't have to do a roll on landing just to land um so yeah i hope that you guys uh, are able to take something from this video and it be able to uh, give you some good um, information on how to apply it to uh, flight school and uh, becoming a better aviator um stay tuned i like to i'm going to try my hardest to post once maybe even twice a week thank you guys for uh, subscribing and supporting my channel we are above 1,000 subscribers, which is incredible. Um, two years ago when I started this channel, I would have never guessed that we'd be above 1,000, but we've made it and we are continuing to grow. So thank you guys so much, especially to those um, who have been there from the beginning. I can't thank you all enough. So stay tuned. I'll keep the videos coming.